Milwaukee Journal Sentinel has been investigating reports of tainted or illegal alcohol at Mexican resorts for several months now. The death of 20-year-old Abby Connor in January put the issue in the national spotlight. Raquel Rutledge is the reporter who has been leading the investigation, and we spoke to her earlier today from our sister station in Milwaukee. Surprisingly to me, the investigation, it just it keeps on coming with more and more people reporting that they've had blackouts and injuries while vacationing at Mexican resorts. We do have the, you know, a number of legislators who have called on the State Department and are, are, are pressing the State Department for further investigation into this. What, what does it seem that the level of cooperation is from Mexican authorities? When we talk to Bill Connor, it sounds like he gets absolutely nowhere with this. Are you experiencing the same uh, response? Yeah, yeah. When it comes to the resorts, uh, certainly there's been no cooperation in terms of allowing a full-on investigation into Abby Connor's death. And I've heard the same thing from others who have been injured there and turned to the resorts to get help in terms of you know interviewing bartenders, interviewing other guests. Uh, looking for video surveillance, that sort of thing. There's no cooperation on that front. Um, and then in terms of the Mexican, the, you know, Mexican authorities, uh, from the many reports that I've had, dozens of people telling me their stories, um, when they turn to police in Mexico, they're getting a lot of reluctance to, to help as well. How many families have you talked to or have reached out to you since your investigation began? Gosh, you know, it, that number grows every day. In fact, before I, before I came out today, um, I had another couple in my inbox. Um, it's, I would say more than 80 so far have said they've experienced similar things in terms of blackouts, tainted alcohol, feeling like they've been drugged, injured, robbed, assaulted. And I think that's just a fraction, of course, of what's actually going on because who takes the time to write and reach out? Not, you know, usually just a fraction of the people that it's happening to. Obviously a very popular uh, resort destination, particularly in winter months for people from Madison, for people from Milwaukee. Are there specific areas where this trouble is popping up more than others in Mexico? You know, I've heard from people who are visiting Cancun, Playa del Carmen, Puerto Vallarta, Cozumel, pretty much all the tourist hotspots I've heard from people who've had experiences there. The Mexican government recently said that it raided 10,000 gallons of tainted alcohol and it uncovered a sketchy manufacturer uh, that was potentially distributing that alcohol. Did they say the name of that manufacturer and do you have any idea what happened to those 10,000 bottles? They did not name that company and I have specifically asked for that name. You know, I've, I've emailed them and, and, and really tried to press to find out which company that is that's doing that. Uh, we don't know what's happening happened to that alcohol. They, they basically said it's been, it was being produced under, quote, poor manufacturer, manufacturing practices. So whether that means it was tainted, what, it was, wh what was wrong with it, we don't know. Uh, but they did seize 10,000 gallons, and they said it was being distributed into tourist hotspots all in the region. They didn't name which ones, which resorts, or if any, or which nightclubs had been um, provided that, that alcohol from that company. Was Abby Connor's case at all a game changer here? I think Abby Connor's case really brings to light what's been happening um, for, for at least a decade. We know of another uh, drowning death under somewhat similar circumstances. Um, back in 2007, Nolan Webster um, was pulled out of a resort pool. We know 39 people drowned in Mexico last year alone. Uh, we don't know the details surrounding those drowning deaths, whether they were in the ocean, whether they were in resort pools. But I'm telling you, a number of people have contacted me with whose loved ones have drowned in resort pools. So her case is not, not the only one, but it is um, one who, wh where the, when the circumstances came to light, it became very clear that there's, there's something more going on than, than, uh, than college kids drinking and drowning. Well, thanks in large part to your hard work. Um, this is in the national spotlight now. And do you think all of this publicity is making a difference? Do you think it's making Mexico safer? You know, that's, re that's really difficult to say. I, I, got, um, I still hear from people who have been there as recently as July that have had, have, had issues. Um, you know, it's, it's really it's, it's hard to say. I know that I've, I'm contacted by people who say they've changed their plans, they're thinking twice about going, or they've, they've decided not to go. What sort of impact that will have on resorts, um, it's, it's too hard, it's too early to say at this point.
All right. Well, Raquel, we really appreciate your hard work and uh, your insight on this and what has been a very difficult uh, situation, particularly in the case of Abby Connor. Yeah, we will continue to follow your investigation, and thank you so much for spending some time with us, Raquel. Great to see you. Thank you for your interest in the story. Appreciate it.